Today we're going to practice using a number line to count. And a number line is important because for one, it's going to really help us when we are adding and subtracting numbers. So we need to make sure that we're using our skills that we're learning today later on in first grade. So the most important thing I want you to remember is when you are using a number line, you're counting each number one by one. So when you start, you're starting at zero. And every time you make a jump, you're jumping one. And you're going to count one more number. So if I have zero, I would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I know some of you can count much higher than ten and much higher than twenty. If that's the case, you can go down here. This says starting number, and we're going to start at zero, and our ending number, we can change that. We're going to change that to 100. And then I'm going to click the go button. Now all of a sudden my number line has gotten much longer. I'm going to use this tool right up here to move along that number line all the way to 100. So now you can start at zero and every time you move up one, you're going to continue counting. But when you get to a point where you can't count anymore, You'll know exactly where you stopped because maybe you stopped at 26 and you're going to move your cursor. You're going to move this up so you can just see the number 26 over here on the left and then you'll be able to keep counting and see how high you can count to, making sure that you don't skip any numbers. So you're going to practice this on your own and then there's an activity for me to check to see how you're doing.